Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at classifications of joints or articulations, right? So an articulation means to connect. So technically in the body, an articulation is a place where two or more bones meet to form a joint. And uh, the functions of these joints are to basically help to give the skeleton some mobility and stability. In fact, there's an interesting trade-off between mobility and stability because where you have joints where two or bones meet, if those bones are, if the place where they meet is highly stable, then they're probably going to be pretty immovable so that their mobility will be low if they're very stable because you're going to use a lot of tissue that's tight and strong to hold those bones together well. Now, uh, opposite to this, you find that joints that are highly mobile are often the least stable because to make those places where the bones meet movable requires either the tissue to be soft or you know not a whole lot of tissue holding those bones together so uh, that way they're more stable, I'm sorry, more mobile. So there's actually two classifications of joints. We have structural and functional classifications. The structural classifications of joints include fibrous, cartilaginous, and synovial. And this is what we're talking about uh, in terms of what they're made of. So that we have joints that are made of fibrous tissue, like dense, regular connective tissue. We have joints that are made of cartilage, and therefore are cartilaginous. And we have synovial joints, which are the movable joints that are made of a synovial membrane, which is a lubrication membrane. So in terms of the functional classifications, we have three types, and this all re refers to the degree of movement. So we have synarthroses, which are immovable joints, amphiarthroses, which are slightly movable, and then diarthroses, which are freely movable. So an example of a synarthrosis, or a totally immovable joint, would be like the cranial sutures. So the places where your cranial bones meet, those are synarthrotic because they're immovable. And we have amphiarthroses, which are slightly movable. An example of this would be like the distal tibular fibular articulation. And this is a type of ligament that's slightly movable. And then the diarthrotic joints are freely movable. In fact, all synovial joints are diarthrotic and they're freely movable. An example of this would be like your shoulder joint or hip joint. Now the structural classifications are more clear cut in terms of what they're made of. Now, uh, what's interesting then is we can also make some predictions about how movable a joint is based on what it's made of. So for instance, most of the fibrous joints are going to be synarthrotic. And then a lot of the uh, cartilaginous joints are either going to be synarthrotic or amphiarthrotic. And then we know that all synovial joints are diarthrotic or freely movable.